Okay, gentlemen, let's take a look at a heat exchanger. Here we have a standard heat exchanger. It is pretty fouled. They hydroblast it, but not with very high pressure. No solvent wash, no pre rinse. Anyway, let's walk over here and take a look at the channel and channel cover. This is kind of interesting because there is both corrosion mechanisms and erosion mechanisms. This right here is the pass partition plate. And you notice that across from the tube openings, there is evidence of erosion. This is from where, from high solid content flowing out of the tubes. In fact, if you look carefully, you can see not only at the edges, but a path downstream into the body of the pass partition plate. You have to forgive the video work here, trying to get the light to show right at the edge. Notice how it's going over the edge and going onto the body. Look how streaking you see is actual paths from each individual tube. Pretty spectacular. You know, it's not every day we get to see this kind of erosion right there at the the step of the pass partition plate edge, the lip as it is, where it sits real, real close to the tube end. Now let's look at the body of the channel. It's got some debris still stuck on here, but what I want to show you is, here's on the channel cover, where it was bypassing the gasket it has eroded, it has worn away from the solids the groove of the channel cover. Notice here it's between 50 and 100 mils deep right here in the middle and it's 20 to 40 mils deep for the rest of the portion. So this middle portion right here for about six to eight inches is between 50 and 110 mils deep. 110 being the, the deepest. But in between my red marks it's bypassed so over 80 percent of the pass partition plate width had been bypassed. And you can see here there's both erosion and corrosion going on at the pass partition plate divider at the cover, the channel cover. So this is the channel cover end and you can see that it's both erosion and corrosion. You can see that it's erosion because of the edge broke down but you can see it's corrosion from where the corrosion mechanism actually pitted right there in the middle of the gasket. Probably where once the flow was static it was corroding and you see that the gasket pattern is present where the gasket didn't didn't corrode. Pretty pretty spectacular. Anyway, thanks for looking. We'll come back uh, later.